everyone, Nikki Niverson, Conservation Educator here at the Salado Wildlife Education Center. Thanks for tuning in for today's Monarch video, all about monarch tagging. Now before we get into the fun part of this, showing you how we tag a monarch butterfly, I need to tell you why we do it. So monarch butterflies actually migrate every year. The fourth generation or the super generation is the ones that emerge this time of year and they actually go all the way to Mexico. So with tags, scientists down in Mexico can determine where they came from, like Salado. So our tags look like this. They are from monarchwatch.org. It is a, they have a citizen science project where you can actually help with this project as well. We also have data sheets. So we have to fill out our data sheet when we tag our monarchs. So Monarch Watch knows what tags went to what butterflies, were they reared, were they wild caught, and if they were male or female. Now, talking about male and female monarch butterflies, as you can see here, we have two. The top one here is a male. As you can see, the veins on the wings are skinnier, and they also have these two dots on the bottom wings, which is like their pheromone sacs to make them smell nice for the ladies. And then the bottom one here is actually our female monarch butterfly. And as you can tell, there are no dots on the bottom wings, and the veins are actually thicker. So that's how you can tell the difference between a male and a female monarch butterfly. And that is very important when we tag our butterflies. Now, Isabella is gonna hand us the next butterfly that we're gonna tag today. And so what we're gonna do, now I've already looked at her and it is a girl, it is a female monarch. So we're just gonna get her out of here. Very gently, we're holding both wings. And when we tag this butterfly, we're going to tag it on the discal cell, which is this one right here, looks like a hand mint. Okay, so that's where this tag is going to go. So I got my tag right here, and we're just gonna place it on this discal cell. We're gonna give it a little, you know, time to adhere. So one, two, three, looks really good. It's adhered properly. And so hopefully she will make it all the way down to Mexico. And hopefully our scientists will be able to tell us if she made it or not. So thanks so much for tuning in. If you want to help our monarch population, go to monarchwatch.org and take a look and join in.